I'm sure everyone will have heard of Wigan Warriors, that fantastic rugby league team. And most people will have heard of Wigan Pier, made famous by George Orwell's book, The Road to Wigan Pier. But who knows about Hay Hall, this beautiful countryside setting with the canal running through it. Just fantastic. Wigan is really a great place to visit. There is a place in Wigan, a place that you should know, a busy little factory where things are all a go. They don't make jakes or apples, cakes or things that stick on walls. <laughs> but something Uncle Joe's mint balls, oh Uncle Joe's mint balls keep you all a go. Give them to your granny and watch the beggar go. Away with coughs and sniffles, take a few in hand. Suck them and see and you will see they're the best in all the land. Our beautiful riverside pitch at Kerryog Valley Park. There is nothing not to like about this site. is my favourite pastime. Yeah, I love people watching. That's why I'm sat in this chair. I normally sat in the same that chair. But this site's particularly brilliant because there are some Duke of Edinburgh kids uh, who've all been coming in in groups of six and are now erecting their tents. And it's just really fun watching this. There's, there's two girls there. They haven't a clue putting poles in and they're taking them out and putting them back in again and then the first group that came in that's even funnier because they're like holding poles like five or six of them holding the pole and they can't even work out it's just fascinating and there's one couple of one couple of girls who've been brilliant they've got their tent up really quick we've been told there's about 150 Duke of Edinburgh students, if that's what you call them, coming tonight. 12 teachers and 150 kids coming in tonight. So I'm going to be here for hours watching this. It's going to, we don't need to watch the telly tonight. There's just going to be so much entertainment. Sue and I have been uh, doing some repairing today. Can you turn it round? Look. We have a shower door completely off and we're fixing things but we're relatively successful so far uh, so far we haven't we've still got to get it back together and who knows whether we'll be able to have a shower today but we're going to give it a go Hard to believe that here I am in North Wales, the sun is shining, and I'm sitting in a beautiful riverside pitch. Lovely. Steady, go! Where's it gone? There it is, Fudge. Good girl, clever girl, clever girl. Just some snaps from the river alongside Kerryog Valley Park. Mike and Tammy are, so, are smashing posts. The toilet and laundry facilities are brilliant and ideal for dog walking. Lovely rural location.
introduce you to the Ponte Caselta Aqueduct and huge apologies to my Welsh friends if I've got the pronunciation wrong. Here's Sue contemplating whether to walk across the aqueduct. It's very high and not for the faint hearted. It's particularly scary if you're on the left hand side coming across in the direction that I'm walking towards now. It's very high and as you can see there's no rail on the side. And this shot hopefully gives you some kind of perspective. It's actually 38 metres high. The width is 3.7 metres and the length 307 metres. The bridge consists of 18 arches and four piers standing in the water. And it's not only the longest aqueduct in Great Britain, but also the highest navigable canal in the world. Hugely impressive for a structure completed well over two centuries ago. And if you're anything like me, you would wonder how that can possibly be done without the heavy machinery that will be available to construction engineers today.